guys, so this is the front squat. One of the best variations for weightlifters. Most, almost any weightlifter that I follow does front squats in their training and they do back squats in their training. I don't know any weightlifter that wouldn't do a front squat. So this is a particularly very important exercise and it's very important uh, if you're getting into weightlifting to know how to do correctly. So let me go through this in detail. First, let's start with the feet, okay? So with the feet, you want to be in a stable position. Stable position would mean that you would need to be, uh, your feet can be underneath your hips. You don't want your feet too narrow and you don't want it too wide because then you lose your power. So you want your feet to be directly underneath your hips. You want your toes to point out a little bit for a couple of different reasons. First off, it opens up the hips. So it allows, it allows you to get into that squat. If my toes are in, it, I get stuck here, the, uh, toes out, into a bigger squat. So I can train through a full range of motion. So that's very important. Another thing that's really important is your ankle mobility. So if, you, uh, if your ankles are unable to bend, let's say about here, it's gonna be very difficult to do this correctly because now you're gonna have to reach back to the hips and you're gonna be off balance. You're not gonna do the middle foot pressure. And so this can be quite difficult. So it is important to make sure that your ankle mobility is sufficient. And I have uh, other videos that goes through in detail about ankle mobility and how you can improve that. So go check those out, like that video uh, with, with that. But I will say that, you, that you're certainly gonna wanna have at least about a five, five inches. So if you're gonna take a ruler uh, and measure to a wall, you should be able to touch the wall with your, with your knee at about five inches out. You, and, and of course, if you're six or seven inches out, that's good too, obviously. But so you, you do need a little bit of ankle mobility. Now, one thing that can certainly help is having weightlifter shoes. Okay, so I have some weightlifter shoes um, right here. They're very important because the the heel is an elevation and it's rock solid. So you're you're not getting any like you're not like, uh, squatting in like runners because you know they're squishy. You're not going to get that full. Uh, it's, it's going to be a little bit unbalanced, so you're not going to uh, be as stable, okay? So weightlifting shoes can really help. If, uh, if you struggle with even still, or if you don't have weightlifter shoes, um, and you don't have the ankle mobility, but you want to get into the front squat, you can put plates, okay? I'll just do one side. But you can put plates right, right on your heel to elevate the heel, and that helps with the ankle mobility, so uh, it helps with that squat. So those two things need to be very important. You need to make sure that your foot position is correct and then also that you have the ankle mobility to be able to do this exercise correctly. The next thing is looking at the hips, okay? So with the hips, you want to go straight down. Sometimes, uh, especially if you're coming from like the powerlifting background, your first movement is gonna be hips back. This is incorrect, especially with weightlifting because you go from middle foot pressure to heel. And with weightlifting, you wanna have middle foot pressure because when you're doing a clean or a snatch, you're gonna be going middle foot pressure throughout the entire lift and you wanna do your strength exercises also going through that balance portion as well. So it's very important to be doing that. Now, so think of your hips as a bucket of water. You don't wanna spill it forward or spill it backwards. Okay, so I'm not reaching back to the hips, I'm going straight down. So I'm bending the knees and my hips are going straight down into the squat and then back up, okay? So that is with the hips. Another thing is that your knees need to track out because you're getting your glutes, uh, your uh, lateral glutes involved, creating even more tension, more stable. If you're more stable, you're stronger, okay? The last piece is going to be the rack position, okay? So sometimes people will uh, tell people to go with two fingers on the rack. For a weightlifter, for, for you know, if you're just a general strength athlete or something like that, uh, that's fine. You can do that, whatever. But if you want to be good at weightlifting, you have to be able to get to the full rack position. You're more in control with that. You need the the uh, flexibility, anyways, to do a, a jerk correctly and and to catch a clean. So you might as well try to get all of your fingers on the bar. The next thing that's important is you want to make sure that your hands are on the outside of your shoulders. So to do that, go to the bar, there's a smooth part of the bar and a rough part of the bar. Take your thumb at the intersection of the smooth and rough, use that thumb as a measuring stick, 
and that's where you place your hands. And that's going to ensure that your hands are outside. If your hands are inside, the barbell will be pinching your hands and your shoulder. It's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. Now, the next thing that's pretty important with this is that the barbell needs to rest on your shoulders yourself. You have to get the elbows high enough to create the shelf. If the elbows come down, you might be holding it onto your wrist. And that's when people say, oh, the front squat hurts my wrist. No, it's because you're not putting the barbell correctly onto your shoulders. And because of that, your wrists are hurting. If you're putting the barbell on your shoulders and getting your elbows up, then your wrists would not be hurting anymore. Okay, so very important with that. So let me demo this exercise. Come underneath the bar, elbows go high, full hand is on the bar, feet are set here, take a deep breath and brace, break down, middle of the foot pressure, and stand. Good. Now, some considerations with the front squat. There are a couple different variations that you can do, like you can do front squat, you can do a pause front squat, a tempo front squat, uh, you could do a, a, a bottom half front squat. There's lots of different variations you can do, but with this particular one, this is a normal front squat. So you're coming down and up. If you get the bounce, get the bounce, because when you do the clean, you want to catch the clean and get out of there as soon as you can. So when you're, you're working on your strength exercises, you want to be able to go down in the squat and up and when you do your clean, you want to catch it and come up. So that's, that's just one thing to consider as weightlifters when you're performing this exercise. So that is the front squat. I hope this video helps and that this video helps your weightlifting.